Hello everyone and welcome to Tricky Tuesday. I gotta tell you folks, this world's going to hell in a handbasket. I don't know if I'm supposed to say that or not, but it's true. We're a mess. Complete and utter mess. I've been reading through the book of Jonah and I gotta tell you, I find a lot of parallels with myself and Jonah. Um, that's not good, by the way, when you find yourself being like, oh yeah, I can relate <laughs> to Jonah, because Jonah is not really the hero in the story, even though Jonah wrote the story. Um, I find that interesting. But um, something else I find interesting, and this was brought up by our pastor. Our pastor's been preaching through Jonah, and I've been reading through it. Uh, I read it through a couple times this morning. The miracle that everybody thinks about when they think about the story of Jonah is Jonah and, you got it, the fish, the whale, whatever you want to call it. That's not the miracle. It is a miracle. But that's not the miracle of the story. The miracle of the story is the fact that a godless, sinful disgusting, immoral nation people, the Ninevites, they followed Christ. They followed God. They followed Yahweh. I gotta tell you, I think about our own nation. Our own nation is an absolute and total mess. We are indeed going to hell in a handbasket. But our world is the same thing. Like, it's just a mess. It's, it's awful. God's message from Jonah to the Ninevites was that they had 40 days. They had 40 days or God was going to wipe them off the map. I have thought about that and I've thought about our nation. We are godless. We are immoral. We are nothing but sinful. You wonder if maybe God's looking at us and saying the same thing. I'm giving you 40 days. And maybe it's going to take some people like us, people that know the Lord, people that understand that there's consequences for sin, even though most people should understand that, but let's not, let's not judge in that way. So people's intellectual ability, such as it is. Anyway, but what if we started sharing the message that there is hope, there's freedom from sin, in Jesus. Yeah, we'll get laughed at by a lot of people. That's fine. But what if it was enough? Remember the story of Abraham and how God told Abraham that he was going to destroy the city of Sodom and Gomorrah. The cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. Remember that? And Abraham prayed and he said, oh Lord, you wouldn't destroy the city if there was 50 righteous people, right? And God says, no, I won't destroy it if there's 50. And then Abraham goes to 45 and then to 40 and then 30 and then to 20 and then to 10, right? And, and, and every time Abraham lowers the number, he's like, oh Lord, please don't be upset with me, but if there was 10 righteous, that's where he ended up, 10 righteous people. I think it's interesting because God said, no, I won't destroy it if there's 10 righteous people. Maybe it's just 10 righteous people that need to stand up and start living the way we're supposed to be living. Maybe we're supposed to share the message like Jonah, but we're too busy looking to get out of Dodge.
that's that's hurt that's hurtful that's painful I, I don't like that because that means that I gotta open my mouth and I gotta risk speaking about what I believe <sighs> being a patriot Sometimes means setting aside what you think. No, doesn't mean that. Sometimes being a patriot means that you gotta set aside how you feel. Sometimes you gotta set aside how you feel about something in order to accomplish the mission, the goal. Do we wanna save this nation? Do we want to continue to just let it go, ah, eh, whatever. Or are we willing to speak up? I'm telling you right now, I think I wanna start speaking up. Not that I wanna be ridiculed or whatever. And there's gonna be some people that are like, dude, you had a bad attitude literally yesterday. Shut up. Okay, so I had a bad attitude yesterday. We, we all are sinners. I don't know. So my pastor said that this month, the challenge, pray for 31 days. Pray for the people that you struggle with the most <laughs> and uh, he said pick three names and I'm like oh my goodness I've got a list that's about three pages <laughs> but okay so I'm thinking of these three names and honestly there's I, in my mind I'm thinking there's no hope there's there's no hope those people are completely degenerate they are completely a mess there's no hope for them but I think maybe Jonah thought that about the Ninevites too. In fact, I'm pretty sure he felt that way about the Ninevites. There's no hope for them. Why is God even giving them a chance? So for 31 days, okay, um, the first and the second are gone. Today's the third. So for 29 days, pray for people. Those people whose names you're thinking of right now, I hate that person. Pray for them. Pray that God would get a hold of their heart. And pray that God would get a hold of your heart and my heart too. Because let's face it, there's always room for growth. Always. So let's pray for those people. Pray that 31 days. Pray for them. Because it doesn't take much. You look at look at what happens in, uh, in uh, Jonah chapter 3. He literally goes and he has like a two-sentence sermon. <laughs> And the entire city turns to God. And it prevented God's destruction of that city. Maybe we can stand in the edge, make up the barrier. We can pray. We can share Christ. And maybe, maybe our nation won't fall flat as we're careening off the cliff currently. What do you think? You join me in that? I'm doing it. Uh, I, I will say I missed Sunday, but I prayed twice yesterday. <laughs> I don't know if that counts or not, but um, it, it's a thought. Give it, give it a try. See what happens. I'm not saying give Jesus a try. I'm saying... God can do this. He can. Are we willing to pray for it to happen and then act like we should in order to change our community, our personal community? It's worth trying. It really is. He's the only one that's going to stop the mess that we are in because it's not good. Anyway, folks, don't discount the power of prayer. 
I hope you all have a great week. I will see you later on in the week. Stay prepared.